Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about top five things that you should think about before you start developing your game. If you're not yet subscribed to this game development channel, don't forget to do that. And the first thing to know before you start developing game is that you need to have a clear vision and a plan for your game. So before you start developing your game, it's important to have a clear idea of what you want to achieve and how you plan to achieve it. This includes defining your game mechanics, story, target audience, and development timeline. All of these things are important so that you can keep yourself on a track while you develop your game. The second important thing is to understand the technology that you're going to be using. Whether you're developing a game for PC, console, mobile or web, it's important to understand the technology you'll be using. This includes programming language, engines and tools that are commonly used in game development because the better understanding you have of those technologies, it will be easier for you to decide which technologies you want to use where and what tools will help you create certain parts of the game. The third important thing to think about is the gameplay. While graphics and sound is important, the gameplay is what will get the player to be engaged with your game and come back for more content. Spending time refining your gameplay mechanics and ensuring that they are enjoyable, challenging and easy to understand will get that satisfaction that the player is looking for. The fourth one is make sure you test your game often and as early as possible. Find a group of people that you can share the game with and they can try it out and give you feedback because game development is an iterative process. So it's important to test your game early and often to identify and address any bugs, issues or design flaws in your game. And although you'll be testing the game yourself constantly, having a group that is not involved in development process will give you better feedback because they don't know how the game works and how it's meant to be played. If anything is off in your game, they will let you know. And the fifth thing you should think about is planning for scaling and for future updates. It's important if you're making a multiplayer game, you have the scalability dialed down because as soon as and those players start joining the game, if the game is glitchy, that might be the end of your game. But also if you're making a single player game, it is important to focus on things like providing new content and making sure that the new content that you add to the game are not going to create any conflict with the current progress of the player in the game. Now, the scalability and the future updates also will cost you time and money. So you need to make sure that you think about how you're going to monetize the content or how is your game monetization structure is going to be. Either you're going to have in-game purchases or advertisement or other unique ways that you're going to monetize the game. But that is important to address when you're thinking about scaling and future updates of your game. Now, these are just five things that I decided to mention in this video. If you have any addition to this, be sure to write that in the comments and you will definitely help some people out. Be sure to click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.